Fernandez, an Atwater Village neighborhood rocked by a deadly officer-involved shooting. This all started when police began chasing a stolen Mercedes SUV in Glendale. KCAL 9's Rick Montanez is live with the very latest. Rick. And Juan, this neighborhood is still blocked off as it has been for more than four hours. You can see some of the damage here behind me. Police say the suspect driver crashed into four cars as he tried to get away. At one point, he got out and took off running around the corner where he was shot and killed. Investigators are working into the night, processing the scene of a deadly police shooting. One man shot and killed after a three minute pursuit by Glendale police. We saw a white car like speeding like really fast and it was bumping in every car. Javier Salazar and his friends were playing outside when they heard the pursuit suspect speeding down Atwater Avenue toward Tyburn Street. The pursuit ended in a crash, but the chase continued. And a girl and a guy came out and the girl went running to like a driveway and the guy ran to the street. And we heard the cops saying, oh, my God, he had a gun. He got a gun. Terrifying moments for the group of 14-year-old witnesses. I mean, I was kind of scared, too, because, you know, it was gunshots. Fortunately, no one else was hurt. After the police shooting, officers scattered around the neighborhood to find the female passenger who ran from police. She was eventually caught and detained. It's not clear if she will face charges. Right now, I don't know uh, if the suspect shot at officers, but I do know that uh, our officers did shoot at the suspect, striking him unknown amount of times. Uh, he succumbed to his injuries, but we did recover a firearm from the suspect's possession. As for the neighborhood, many here are stunned the chase ended in a deadly shooting. It sounded really scary. Uh, I'm just like, what if we stayed outside and what would have happened? Police say the crashed Mercedes SUV was reported stolen out of LAPD's Wilshire Division. The name of the man killed by police has not yet been released. Glendale police officers wear body camera video, body cameras, so that video, along with any footage from their dash cameras and any surveillance video collected from security cameras around this neighborhood, will all be part of the investigation. Reporting live in Atwater Village, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News. Let's